Okay, folks, <clears throat> Susan Kerpik here for Psychics Explained. So I've watched this video on John Bimmer's Psychic Live Facebook feed. And I recorded a video because I hadn't watched it. I just went, started watching it recorded an intro like I usually do, watched the video, took a bunch of notes, and I got done. And I started to leave an outro of what I thought. And I stopped and I said, I have to process this because it was intense. And um, wow. So I'm going to do it again. This time, I know what's going to happen. So I want to make sure everybody who's watching this is forewarned that maybe this might be too intense for you. And I did some investigation afterwards to figure out what was going on because it was very confusing. So I figured out kind of what's happening and I'm going to give you that information a little bit right now, not to ruin what's going to happen if you should want to watch this. Um, and then we'll talk about it after the video. So I, that, I, we'll do it in that order. Okay, so just a quick background. John Benner, I've done four videos on. He is a Facebook medium who does live readings four hours a night, six days a week. So 24 hours a week. His prices range anywhere from $7 to $22. He does energy readings, aura readings, uh, love life stuff, and he'll communicate with the dead. He has a huge following. No, no way. I take that back. He has a tiny following, but they're very dedicated, the ones that are followers of him. And um, I guess um, he, he's been called out a lot. There seems to be a lot of drama associated with him and his detractors, as well as the people who are his supporters. There's I, I don't know. There's some huge history going on there. I'm not quite sure I know what's going on and I'm not so sure I want to know. I really am interested in mediumship and how it appears to look like they're communicating with the dead. And, and I've looked at all kinds of different people over the years. And so I find this, um, I think it's valuable. I think we need to be looking at these kinds of um, mediumship and I think it's important to look at multiple readings by one person, especially if they're close together or on the same day, so that we can get a lot more, uh, a better feeling of what it is they're doing and, and the methods and stuff. And, and I really have been trying to concentrate a lot on readings that are personal, um, with a very small viewership or in a closed group. This group of people, I can tell you this much. I don't, I don't know, maybe 30 people. They seem to appear in every one of his live feeds, at least everything I've watched. And it's become a community. They seem to see John Benner as a, like a minor celebrity, I guess. I'm not quite sure why. And so far, all the videos that I've seen, the four I have, I have watched, there's nothing going on here. It's, it's it's pretty pretty awful cold reading it's not even that but and he knows these people so it makes it even more like really you can't well anyway i'm not going to give him any ideas so we're going to watch this video as i said it's intense it starts out with an energy reading for somebody named carol who is a regular she shows up often and it goes off the rails and then it goes off the rails again and then I, I was like, what the heck are you talking about? Because he starts talking, he goes out of his mediumship voice and goes into an adult man who's upset voice. Um, and he starts accusing people of being trolls and and the trolls are here. And, and, and I, I don't know what he's talking about because I'm looking at the chat and there's no trolls there. And then people in the chat are start dumping on these trolls that aren't there. And anyway, so I went over to this group 
that is on Facebook that is uh, made up of a lot of people who are his detractors. They appear to be people who have known him, um, worked with him, used to be friends of his. And for whatever reason, they are now not friends of his and have created this Facebook group or joined a Facebook group called Grief Vampires. It's not my group. Yes, I'm a member of the group, but I've really not paid much attention to it. It's it's another group of people with another tactic. Yes, grief vampires is a phrase that um, associated with my my work and my teams, but it's not theirs. And I find it really hilarious is they keep calling them grief vampires, the skeptics or the detractors, which is really funny because that's not what it is. Grief vampires are the mediums that prey on people. So maybe they don't know what that means. I don't know. I will put some screenshots and I will read when I'm all done what actually ends up happening at the end of this. So, okay, um, take notes. I took lots and lots of notes. So let's go there. You're forewarned. Oh, please do not, no ad hominems. Um, these people are who they are. Do not look up any of these people who are who are getting readings or who are commenting. That is definitely not okay, all right? They have enough issues, and that's not fine. I'm going to catch up on the list here. Do, 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 do. And Carol, how can I help you tonight? Ah. Hello, Christine. How are you? An energy reading, okay. I'm seeing a lot of green in your aura. I'm not really, well, I'm seeing a lot of green in the aura. The spirit guides are telling me that you're going through some healing. And I'm seeing pink, pink's ener pink energy around the green. Pink energy is usually a sign of love. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, healing going on in your aura right now. Um, I'm still picking up a lot of pain from your mother in your heart, your heart chakra. I'm sure that's going to, that's, that's not something that can just go away overnight. Um, I said that I'm seeing a lot of green in your aura with pink energy around it. You're being healed. You're going through a healing process, which we already know about. Um, 
And I'm still seeing a lot of pain in your heart chakra for your mother. You might have forgiven your mother, but you still have a lot of pain there. And you're still going through the healing process of it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to pick up on other things here. Hmm. I'm feeling in your, I'm not sure if it's your spirit guides telling me this or it's just your energy, but I'm picking up that you, this might sound kind of different, but, and it's going to sound very different, uh, but I'm picking up that you are very bored with life right now. Like you have nothing better, or not nothing better to do, but it's like you're finding yourself more and more at like day to day, like where you're just bored with life, um, that you might be searching for other things to do or something like that. But I, I just feel like you're, I know this sounds really bad, but it's just like you're moping a lot every day. You need to find, it's like your spirit guides are trying to tell you that you need to find something to do, like find a hobby to do or take up on a hobby or something like that to try to lift yourself back up again. I just like when I tap in your energy, I just keep feeling like confusion as well, like chaos and confusion. Okay. Do you have any questions, Carol? No, of course you have meaning. Everybody has purpose here. I'm feeling that your purpose might mainly surrounds about surrounds forgiveness. I feel that. You, I just keep feeling like over and over just like sadness and depression and sadness. That's what I keep feeling, Carol.
Yeah. Well, you should probably keep... You've been suicidal. You should probably... Have you called the 1-800-SUICIDE number? You should probably call that. That's not true. Everyone is here for meaning. Everyone has a meaning here. Otherwise, other than that, you wouldn't be here. Carol, that's not true. You have a lot of meaning here. Everybody, everybody give Carol a great big hug. She could really use a really big energetic hug right now. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Carol. Keep thinking that way. You're going to keep manifesting it. I mean... Nobody here can really imagine what you're going through. Nobody can. But we can uh, assume that you're you're very depressed and you're not, you know, you're not well. But one of the best ways to really become well again is to reach out to a doctor or a counselor or a psychologist or somebody uh, and talk with them about it. And also try to affirm with yourself that, hey, my life is great. Even if it's bad, just say, my life is great. My life is beautiful. Um, try to manifest that beauty into your life, you know, because the more you go around being sad, the more sad you're going to be. And it's just going to get worse. Just try to choose to be happy. Think of things that make you happy in life or um, do something that makes you happy. There's got to be something. And you keep saying that it's gonna it's just gonna keep manifesting that way. You gotta you gotta get a different perspective on life. You can't keep having that bad perspective. I mean, we don't know your pain. We don't know why you're in pain. But any life coach would tell you the same thing. If you were to go to a life coach, they'd tell you the same thing. You gotta change your perspective. I know it's hard when you're going through a rough time. It's difficult to do. But you can do it. You got to manifest that. You got to think positive. Because mm -hmm. you were, like I said, if you weren't, if you didn't have a purpose in life, you wouldn't be here. Everybody has a purpose. No, Carol, don't harm yourself. You had to call that 1-800 number. Let's see here.
Okay, well, just, you gotta take care of yourself, Carol. Just get to a doctor if you can. Somebody you can, there's gotta be someone you can talk to. And Carol, are you still there? You're not a drag, Carol. You're not a drag at all. We're all going through a rough time right now. All of us are. Hey, go ahead, Austin. Yep. The more help, the merrier. You're not a failure, Carol. No. You haven't failed at anything. No. So, Carol, what's, like, your favorite place to be? Where do you like to go? Or what's your favorite thing to do? Is it it's got to be something you love doing?
Well, there's got to be something. Your daughter. You and your daughter. You like to be with your daughter and talk with her. Okay, she's moving out, but she's still there. You can go visit her when you want to. Look how many people are trying to help you, Carol. They all want to talk to you. Yeah, you hear every day. I was right. What was I right about, Carol? There's got to be something you can do, Carol. There's got to be something. 
I would probably suggest a counselor first, though, so they can help you bring back some happiness and then try to find a hobby. That's just my suggestion, though. Just reach out, Carol. Just reach out to me or any one of the other people here and we'll talk to you, okay? Call 911 right now. Okay. Do it right now. Okay. For Carol. The trolls are moving on, in on this. Okay. Wow, that's, that's really horrible that the trolls have to do something like this to Carol. But call 911. Um, we've already given Carol the 1-800 number, trolls. That's all we need to do. Yep, they're gonna do this. They're gonna do this to poor Carol. That's how awful these people are. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this Facebook um, live views getting it, getting, getting it to the right place. It's really strange. So I'm gonna pause. 
I'm going to come back to what actually happens. But what I want you to know is what I found out later is that Carol is on pretty much every day. Um, everybody seems to know her and they care a lot about her. Apparently she's had a rough life. All that's neither here nor there because John <laughs> Benner is, you know, they're offering her platitudes and yeah, he does give her an 800 line number and he is calm and reasoned with his voice and people are reaching out to her. It just doesn't seem like it's nearly enough. And it's, if it's a group of friends and something like this happens, you know, you gather around them, you love the person and you, I, I don't even know. I've never had this happen to me. I, I don't run a, a mediumship business where I'm doing live feeds 24 hours a week where I need to have some kind of protocol, apparently, of what you do when somebody is is live with you and they're going to, um, they're saying that they're going to harm themselves. Um, I, I, so what happens is on this um, Facebook group that he's apparently watching as this is happening. So this is a Facebook group that is open. In other words, anybody can look inside. You don't have to be a member of the group. All their posts are visual, visible. And somebody named Anonymous Participant posted right then at 8.16 p.m. And I believe that's about the time this is happening. Um, when I looked earlier, and I don't want to have to mess with my controls right now to figure out what it is. This Anonymous Participant and this other group that calls itself Grief Vampires says, I hope someone in this group is friends with Carol and Benner's followers. Benner knows damn well it's Saturday and Carol drinks heavily tonight. She's threatening suicide on his life. Benner is not qualified or a doctor or holds any PhD. Benner absolutely needs to call 911. He has Carol's phone number. Call Benner now for help for her. Use effing common sense. Benner, this is out of your league. Stop using this poor girl for viewers. You are the most vile and horrific person we know. Please someone reach out to Carol. Okay, so he's, while he's doing this live feed and while he has one of his regular attendees who's paid for a reading, who he knows is depressed, he knows um, that she has a daughter, he knows that her mother died. I mean, this is somebody he has knowledge of because he already admitted that, that he had, you know, he knew of her daughter and, and so on. He changes to from comforting I'm a medium to hey get this we got to get this taken care of right now call him right now and immediately his default is against people who he's calling trolls now when i was watching this yesterday i didn't know what was going on because there is no comment in this chat that has anything to do with calling 911 I don't know what he's talking about, detractors or trolls or grief vampires or anything like that. So finally today, I figured out that this is what's going on, is that he's reading another Facebook page, a Facebook page for these people who are his detractors. As this is all going on, I don't find that odd at all. Do you? No, not at all. Not odd at all. He's following this other page. I, it was like he was watching this other group to see what they were thinking of how he was handling this this woman who's 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 threatening her life like oh i wonder what these other people think of what's going on if they're here so i'm going to play the rest of it and let's see what you think is going on because it is bizarre his vitriol to a group of people who were basically just saying hey Call 911. You know who this woman is. So whoever this anonymous participant is, is saying, you know darn well who she is. You have her phone number. And you know that this is always a problem with her on Saturday nights. Boy, that's, these people know each other well. And he went from call 911 to immediately blaming people who, who he's had past interactions with. And 
this guy is not a therapist. He has no license for therapy. If it was just a friends group, okay, you know, but this, I guess, but this is, I don't even know what to think. I, I don't, I don't even know if I could formulate in my mind how badly I think this is handled and how, how, what the heck this woman needs help. And she doesn't need to be coming to a medium every freaking night to talk and to chit chat in this group. This other line really makes me upset. Everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a purpose. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So are you saying that if you are, uh, something happens to you and you die, then you no longer have a purpose here, that your purpose was over? Because that's what you're saying. Everybody who's here has a purpose. So therefore, if you are gone, your purpose was removed. Okay. Everybody, oh boy, that's just really, I, I don't think I have eloquent words to say how I actually feel. <laughs> I'm really interested in what you guys on the channel think about this because I've been processing it all day. Okay, going into this other group's chat, somebody else who I don't know who it is, um, is saying, hey, everybody, somebody find out who, how to get a hold of this Carol that's happening right there, 911. Um, and and this guy is saying, John, stop this live, continue later, disconnect. Carol is suicidal. Stop making this us against you. It's not to screw you over, it's to save a life. When someone threatens what she has, you need to call 911. Stop this and put attention on Carol. And he's only 42 minutes in this in this feed. And I'm going to show you what happens next. But it goes on for at least an hour after, after this. So he doesn't stop this feed. He just continues. Okay, going back to the grief vampire group. Um, John, stop it already. Worry about Carol, not us. Drama, stop it. Stop talking about us already. Focus on Carol, my God. God John, this has nothing to do with taking you down. Show compassion for Carol. And Randy says, John Benner, if you have a shred of human decency, you will call for medical help for Carol. If you don't at least do that, you are a scumbag. Um, okay, so I'm lost. So somebody named Amanda says, okay, I'm, I'm lost. Why is John threatening people? And why did he say his sister was right about the grief vampire page? Oh, that's going to come up. John, I success you suggest you settle down with your threats i don't take threats well nobody was saying anything about that lady you just threw the grief vampire page out there once again to make yourself feel good if you weren't lusting over the grief vampire page you would have never said anything crazy like that now to all them people reading this don't threaten people it's not nice i wouldn't so now tell me john who are you threatening i want names so i can produce my evidence oh boy this is like Okay, so let's let's go back and see what ends up happening. Beat it, nerd. Leave us alone. Why don't you leave me alone? Leave me and my followers alone. Leave us alone, please. I'm tired of these people. I'm sick of them. Hi, yes. Um, I remember calling for someone that um, wanted to... Um think about commit suicide, I need to call, I need to talk to someone real quick because, uh, where's, where's Carol located at? Carol, where are you located? I'm trying to get information from her. Okay. I'm in the wrong thing. Real time call. Yeah, she's, um, um, I'm, I'm moderating for someone online and she's talking to suicidal online right now. Talking to us about suicidal. It's on a live stream. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get information out from her right now. Yeah. Carol, uh, Carol, uh, Carol's on, oh, my name is Bob for. Biaski? Yeah, what's your last, what's your last Biaski? name? Biaski. Biaski? B-I-A-C-S-I. Carol, 
K uh, C A R O L E uh, B I B as a boy I A C S I B I A C as a cat S, -S I Yeah, yeah, uh, C-A-R-O-L-E. Uh, she was, she's 56, so minus... Her phone number, I don't know her phone number. Uh, do you know her phone number? No, I don't. I don't know her phone number. Carol, can you send me a message with your phone number? Is that okay? I'm oh, trying to get information from her online right now. On live stream right now, I'm moderating and uh, I'm, I'm. So these trolls are using Carol and to make I'm me look bad, is what they're doing. I'm right now, and he's trying to talk to right now on live stream, and she's. She's not saying, she's saying she's really depressed, and she's um, saying all this stuff, saying that she's, she, life sucks, and she doesn't want to live anymore. No, we don't know that yet. Probably. I mean, I'm not yet. She's, she's been very depressed. Carol, are you still there? Yeah, they need to stop it before they receive their lawsuit. Because it's coming. You heard my sister what she said the other night. It's coming. <laughs> They're here, guys. They're here. They're here and they're watching. Because if they weren't, they wouldn't have posted this. Call me vile, you're vile. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm supposed to say a um, thing about her? Um, um, okay. Don't even talk about that. Not here. We reached out to Carol tonight. Carol, are you still there? We gave her the suicide hotline and everything. And now we're on 911 with her. We're trying to help her out. Let me see if I. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. I, I, I'm going to see if I have um, any more information from her or her. I'll go on her. Uh, Amanda, Amanda Gordado, G D U. Okay. A R D A D O. Carol, can I get your phone number? Can you send it to me, please? Okay. Okay, G as a um, bar. Yeah. U, A is apple, R, D is a dog, A, D is a dog, no. She lives in her, uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, or Ohio. So, yeah. Cleveland or Parma? Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, no worries. Okay. So it's Parma. Yeah. So I have to call Ohio. Okay, so, oops, I gotta plug my phone in, it's gonna die. Oh, man. <coughs> no, we have to call Cleveland, Ohio. That's, I'm getting on the phone with them right now. I gotta plug the phone in. I forgot to do that. How to get in there. Hey, come on, get in there. 
Come on, you can do it. <laughs> what are we upside down? Get, God, I won't plug in. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry. There we go. Now it's in. There we go. Alrighty. Hi, Leona. How you doing? That's because the trolls are calling in the rest of their, well, troll friends to witness everything that they're doing. Poor Carol, man. You trolls should be ashamed of yourselves. Really ashamed of yourselves. Everyone here heard me say, Carol, reach out to us at any time. Everyone here heard that. We even posted the 1-800 suicide hotline and everything. You people should be ashamed for what you're doing. Trying to get it, gain attention over someone else's depression. Wow. Just wow. Carol Bias, um, I have her last name. Huh. I don't have her address with me. Um, I'm trying to get address from her. I don't know if you have her on her. Okay. Um, B I B as a boy. I A. Her family, no. C S I. I don't know any of her family members. Yeah. She talks about them, but I don't. No names, uh -huh. nothing. I don't know. 56. Yeah, Carol, are you still here? Because um, she's, I'm talking about on live stream, but I'm on, I'm t on, on live stream with her right now talking, and she's doing, she, uh, she doesn't want to live life anymore. She's about, she's really depressed. Yeah. She's saying that um, she, her life sucks and she won't live no more. We don't know yet, no. We don't know if she has or not. Yeah. Yeah, she's at home. Got that saved. It's going straight to the attorney. Hope you're happy with yourselves, guys. Why can't you just leave us alone? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. Leave us alone. That's all you have to do. Well, well, and uh, all I'm this will end. Just online. leave it alone. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm moderating for someone, and um, I'm, I'm friends with her. Um, uh... John Benner, psychic medium. John Benner, psychic medium. John Benner, psychic. Oh, sorry. John Benner, psychic. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I do not have her phone number. Um, no, she's not giving the phone number either. No. No, I think she's still there. She, was um, with, she used to live with her daughter. Yeah, she lives with her daughter, yeah. but her daughter's moving out. Um, Amanda Guardado, G U A R. He has a dog. He has a dog at all. I'm trying to reach out to her. And this number right here, I'm calling from right now. It's 805 621 9522. Thank you so much. They hang over. Okay. Alright, they're on their way. This, this is why I talk about them, guys, because these people are legitimately they're reaching out to my followers, trying to say whatever they want to try to get you guys to not believe in this stuff anymore, or not to follow me and this and that, blah, 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 whatever. It's like, you know, if you don't believe in it, mind your own business, move on. It's that simple. You know, it's, I believe in this stuff and the majority of the people watch me believe in this stuff and the majority of them believed in me or believed in this stuff long before they even met me. So, Get over it, move on, leave, go away. Um, the other thing, in the, the uh, poor Carol, man. Oh, there she is, she's in message with me. Okay, oh my God, that's just, 
What's wrong with him? It's sick. It's just sick. It's just... Oh, look what John's doing. Let's let's make him look even worse by doing this Carol thing. Wow. Whew. Now everybody knows your true colors. Good going. You should be ashamed. Uh, let's see here. I got Carol in some message right here. She's saying she's okay. Okay, well. The whole world is hurting. Everybody is. Everybody's struggling right now. Why do we have to make it worse? Why can't we just be positive and try to spread positivity into the world and try to help one another? You know, why do we have to hate everybody? We don't have to hate people. Jesus. Be angry and sit. Why do you want to sit in anger and I don't get that. It's just, oh, we're not, we're not angry. They say we're not angry. We're laughing at you. Okay. Right. Right you are. Get some help. Do something with your life. You know, you really want to do something to help the world. There's hundreds of homeless people out there that could really use your help. Instead of spending your time clipping my videos and trolling on me, why don't you spend your time helping them? You could be doing something like that. Helping the homeless, helping the needy. Donating to goodwill. Helping the Salvation Army do their thing. Do something. Instead of sitting in front of a computer, trolling people, hating on people. All you're teaching the world is more hate by doing what you're doing. You're just influencing more hate. And you're thinking, we're not hateful people. We're just, we're trying to save people from you. From me? What am I doing that's so wrong? I believe in the same thing that these people believe in. I practice the same thing that they practice daily. So what am, what am I doing wrong here? This is the thing that these people don't seem to get. They think that all, most of you come here and have no idea, no knowledge on crystals or angel cards or anything like that. They think that you're all like average Joe people who have no idea what a psychic is. When the majority of you already do. And some of you are readers already. Like Austin's a medium. Anne is into witchcraft and psychic stuff. There's a lot of people here who are already into it. And you're trying to save them from something that they've been into most of their life. You need to think about that. And as for the, the lady over there, one of the ringleaders, your head is this big. It's, you've got an inflated ego going on. Because she th seems to think that her opinion only matters. No, it doesn't. Everybody's opinion matters. Everybody's beliefs matter. Everybody's reality matters, not just yours. I don't hold all the answers to this stuff. I never will. And neither do you. And you never will. I believe it takes several, probably, what, hundreds, maybe thousands of lifetimes to actually know everything. Not just one. I'm sorry, that just really pisses me off. Because Carol is... Carol's been abused by her mother. I've tried helping her. I've tried life coaching her. I do everything I can to help her. I go out of my way to help her. And then you people come in and use her for this? Wow. And then you, you wonder why I play victim. Because of you guys. Yeah, you're victimizing me on your posts. You have a nice big page made up on me. You people need to get life. You need to like do something. Like, think of something. Hey, you know, 
I've always wanted to go into woodwork and do something with work. Do it. Get your mind off of being hateful online. It's, Jesus, it's, it, it is, it's sad. Do something. Read a book, watch a movie. And like I said, if you want to help the world, go help the needy. They need you right now. Not these people. These people don't need you. The needy does. The homeless guy is standing on the street corner with a sign saying, I will work for food. He needs you. So go help him. Okay. Let me see here. Reaching out to Carol. See if she's still there. Exactly. Making in front of people, calling them names, beating them up. That's not love. That's not love. That's called hate. <laughs> Jesus. You'd think that, you know, if they were soulful of love and unconditional love and all the stuff that they say they would, you'd think that they'd be reaching out to me. If they think I'm a scammer and all this stuff, you'd think they'd be reaching out to me, trying to influence love onto me. Because that's what light workers do. They don't hate people. They don't try to make people look bad. They don't put them on the street. They try to reach out to influence good onto them. Duh. That's what light workers do. Hate mongers just hate people. They kick people around. Someone's down. They kick them even more. That's all they do. And that's what exactly what you people do. Especially calling 12 year olds like they did with Rochelle's son. They called him up on the phone and said obscenities to him. That isn't really acceptable. You're calling her a fake and a fraud and a scammer and then you go and you call her 12 year old son and say obscenities to him and insult him. And then you call my sister and say the same stuff to her and try to impersonate being an FBI officer? I didn't. And you say that we're doing the wrong thing. No, you are. Impersonating an FBI agent is illegal. It's a federal crime. You might want to think about that. Okay. But you know what? Bless them. We got to bless them. Because hopefully, maybe we can influence love under them. Hopefully. Hopefully, they'll wake up to it. Okay. All right. And Carol's not answering, but we did call the 911 office out in Cleveland, Ohio. They said that they're on their way there. They could be at her house by now. We don't know. Um, she's not answering. So hopefully she gets the help that she needs. Yeah, we've already tried reporting it to the police. I'm literally sitting in the home right now of a retired sheriff. We've already asked the advice on that. Um, the only way, the only authorities we can take this up with is the FBI. If it's done online over the internet, then it's out of your local police department's jurisdiction. So you have to take it up with the FBI or an attorney or both. So we did, and they still don't believe it, but once people start knocking on their doors, that's when they're going to believe it. Okay. They think they think we're lying about it, but heh, we're not lying. My sister ain't lying either. She was here just the other night talking about it. She's not lying about it either. Because we've had enough. Yeah, I hope Carol's okay. I'm sure she is. Let me read into her energy here. I feel she's a little, she's a little surprised. She's a little in shock right now. She should be because of what just happened. Um, so she's, that's about how I'm feeling with her right now. She's still alive though, which is good. Just sick. These people are sick. Wow. Boy, that psychic that told me to stay away from them was not lying. She said, stay away and protect. 
but because I have to stick up for myself and everyone else, I just, I just keep reading into it. That's just how I am. I was made that way, I guess, I don't know. Oh, they want me to stop the live right now. Of course, they want me to stop it and delete it. No, it's not going to happen. Well, this is why I feel this way. To you, to you trolls, they're trying to say, oh no, we're trying to help her, we're trying to help her. The reason why I feel the way I do is because of what you do to me. What you've done to my reputation. The threats you've made over phone calls. You calling my family and other people's families. If you people would stop doing this, people wouldn't accuse or blame you on things anymore. It's that simple. Knock it off. This is why this is happening. This is why you're being blamed. Because you, you, because of what you're doing. Can't you just make a private group? I mean, this group isn't even private. It's public. You look, you search John Benner, boom, all the posts come up right there, open in public. Can't you just do a private group and talk amongst yourselves? Why can't you do that? If you don't want to really make someone look bad, that's what you would do. Because usually when people have a problem with someone else, they take it up with them in private, not in public. They do it in public because they want the drama and they want the attention. That's why. So if you have a problem with me, if you have a bone to pick with me, take it up with me in private. You can send me a message. You can send me an email. I'll talk with you there. You don't need to do it here in public. This is just absurd. It's called, this is just immature right here. It's like high school immaturity. Grow up. Be an adult. Jesus, one of them's like 80 years old and he acts like he's in high school. Okay. Take a few deep breaths and try to relax. We got a couple of readings to do here. I'm gonna keep checking up on Carol. Amanda's gonna keep checking up on her. Yep. She's sitting right here. Okay, I'm getting back to my page here. Get off that. Okay, so let's uh, end that there because. <laughs> Well, hello and welcome and good evening. Well, hello and well, hello and, and good evening. Thank you for joining me during this live stream. I'm John Banner. And I'm okay, so let's just end that there. I went longer and I watched more this time than I did last time. I have no idea what he's talking about and why they were accusing people of being trolls. There was nobody posting in that thread. Nobody had gotten onto that live stream. Nobody was chatting in there. How were they attacking Carol? I'm totally lost as to what he's talking about. The FBI is going to be involved with what? What are people doing? People have said bad things about you on the internet. They don't like that you're you're uh, appear to be a grief vampire. What? That's not you can't sue for that. People are calling you up. People are calling up somebody's child. How did they get the phone numbers? Why would, how do you know it's from this grief vampire group? I, I, I'm lost. I am really interested in what you guys have to say. Please put it in the comments. I, like I said, I've been trying to frame it in my head what I think about all this is going on, and I'm lost. 
um, going back to the uh, post that is on this uh, grief vampire group that there's not that many posts. And basically what they're saying is, is that he needs to call 911. Did he call 911? I don't know if he called 911. We don't know. And if he, he shouldn't be going on with the reading, he shouldn't be going on with a live stream. He should have ended it. Um, that it's all about him and that it, that it's, it should be about Carol, but yet they, they went on, you know, he brought it and made it about the people who were mad at him. So I guess this video right here is going to make John really upset. Um, I don't know what it's a public page, even if it wasn't public, it's it, you, you've left it up here. It was January 6th and this video is still there. All the people's names are still there. I don't understand. Um, somebody named Michelle says, if Benner had any respect for Carol, he would not have kept on going with the readings, but he played this to his advantage as he always does. I do hope Carol is okay, but Benner, every time Carol paid for a reading, you would ask her if she was drinking. And if she was, you knew it. You were always put her you always put her on the list and then you moved on to your next victim. But I wonder, did Carol ever get the reading she paid for? So Benner, don't blame any of us. We never did anything to Carol, although you certainly did. So if you're interested in this, all the information's out there. I don't know. I don't know. The whole point is this woman is in bad shape and she's coming here every night to talk to this medium and to hang out with this group of people comments people please comments and no looking these people up no contacting them no ad hominems i don't want to hear it okay comments please